Hi, this is Lindy Kaiser, Senior Editor of ClearanceJobs.com. Welcome all you groovy ClearanceJobs.com visitors to the 420 edition of the Security Clearance News Update. Yes, when I saw that our most recent Security Clearance News Update was going to drop on 420, I could not help myself. Drug use and security clearances is one of the top questions we get on clearance jobs. So I'm going to unpack today the top three questions we get about drug use and your security clearance. Number one. How recent is too recent when it comes to drug use and applying for a security clearance? Tied into that, what if the drug use was in a state, city, location where it was legal? Um, a little constitutional law lesson today for 20 viewers. Supremacy Clause of the Constitution, federal law, Trump state law. Um, and when it comes to drug use, that is one issue federal law has not adjusted on. So even if your drug use was in a place like Colorado, you still have to list it um, on your security clearance application. If it was super recent, you will probably have a hard time obtaining a clearance. The guideline used to be one to two years. It's very agency specific. Applying for a job with the Drug Enforcement Agency gonna be a different scenario than applying for a job with the State Department. Um, one um, defense that we've seen be helpful um, is a nanogram defense for security clearance holders. So if you um, if you tried a little bit, if you um, had only a few nanograms of marijuana, it's kind of a different scenario than if you were a frequent ongoing drug user. You're going to need more time to mitigate the more drugs you were using. How recent is you recent? It's too recent? Depends on the agency. In general, one to two years. Second most frequent question we get, can I invest in a drug business if I have a security clearance? This one is increasingly coming up because of all of, again, the medical marijuana, the recreational marijuana dispensaries that are coming out, obviously money to be made in a new business. That's why a lot of states are legalizing it because they want the tax revenue, not because they want you all token up. Um, and so again, the issue that comes up in the adjudicated criteria is it says drug involvement. So it doesn't matter if you're the one doing the drugs. It doesn't matter if you're dispensing the drugs, selling the drugs out of your car. If you are involved in an illegal drug business, um, you will not be able to obtain a security clearance. Now, a side note, if your 401k, um, if your mutual funds somehow include investment in marijuana that you're not directly involved with, probably not an issue. If you're going out there and funding or working at a place um, that sells and profits for marijuana, that's another issue entirely. Number three, what about CBD oil and my security clearance? Hey, Lindy Kaiser, Senior Editor of Clearance Jobs, the Farm Bill legalized CBD oil, so I can totally use it, right? Like almost everything else, it depends. Um, what the government has largely said is they are really not concerned about CBD use. That said, like all good 420 celebrators will know, you gotta know your supplier. Um, so what the Farm Bill specifically says is 0.3% or less of THC um, is what's classified as CBD oil. How sure are you that the CBD oil you are using contains 0.3 or less? Make sure you are buying a product where you are confident in that. If not, we've already seen cases where people have popped hot on a drug test um, and that's gonna be an issue. If you were just buying CBD oil, consuming a lot of products, if you can't really verify or prove how you were using that drug, um, why you were using CBD oil, um, you just gotta be super responsible. So again, how important is your clearance to you? How important is CBD oil to you? That's up to you. Government not super concerned about CBD oil. If you test positive on a drug test, or if you're in the military, um, armed services have largely banned CBD oil. Again, just know the policies of your armed service, know the policies of your employer, know your supplier of CBD oil, and make sure that they fall under that 0.3% THC. If you have questions about drug use and your security clearance, if your mom has questions about drug use and your security clearance, looking at you, Generation Z, your mom has been emailing me about what you did on your summer abroad trip, email me at lindy.kaiser at clearancejobs.com. Thank you for tuning in. Happy 420. Be safe, be responsible, don't do anything illegal or that your mom wouldn't like.